have come to the trampoline park. I've never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> Trampolines are for little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. <laughs> Grown-ups are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. <laughs> Woo! 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 Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. <laughs> Hello, Trampoline Park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. Help! I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes. It's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Unbelievable! Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? <laughs> that was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounce on trampolines, you must. Thank you, Pepper. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Pepper loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Grandpa Pig's computer. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig. Watch this. A cuckoo clock. Yes. It goes cuckoo, cuckoo, but it's broken. Can you mend it, please, Grandpa Pig? Hmm. 
Let's take it to my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed, where Grandpa mends things. I'll take a look inside. Grandpa! Now you've really broken it. Oh, I wonder if I've got a book on clocks. Ah, here we are. How clocks work. Grandpa Pig has mended the cuckoo clock. Hooray! Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Mummy, Grandpa's mended the cuckoo clock. That's nice. What's that? It's my old computer. I can't mend that. It's not broken. I've got a new computer. I thought you might like my old one. Um, I I'm not sure. I, I, I really need one. Oh, a computer. What does it do? You can do letters with it. Look. Granny. A, B, C, D. And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing it does is Happy Mrs. Chicken. <laughs> When you press this button, she lays an egg. I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> That's fun! Uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye! Goodbye. Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Peppa and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Granny. Grandpa, he's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh! Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There! That should do it. I am mended. Hooray! <laughs> My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? No, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> the Blackberry Bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, hi, Granny, Granny Pig. Pig. We've got baskets for the apples and buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. 
Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Ah. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um... Can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may. Brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. My prince. My princess. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going, Ah! Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Scooters! It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. <laughs> <laughs> oh. George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. <laughs> George, come on! <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot. Like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George, you're doing it. <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> Peppa, George. That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've 
only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me. See you later, Mummy Pig. See you later. <laughs> Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast. <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Daddy can't keep up. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> the carnival! Peppa and her family have come to watch the carnival. Hello! Here are Susie Sheep and Molly Mole. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa! Have you come to watch the carnival? Yes. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. With fire-breathing dragons. And magic people flying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it really is that great. What's that? Is it starting? No, that's just someone sweeping the road before the carnival comes. Oh, it actually sounds quite good. They're using brushes and dustbins to make music. <laughs> the carnival has begun. Here is Mr. Bull and his fancy jazz band. It is Mr. Pony, the optician. Hello. Look, Pedro's on the lorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Pedro. <laughs> I wish I was in the carnival. Me too. It is Captain Dog and Danny Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! It's Miss Rabbit's rescue service. But where's Miss Rabbit? Miss Rabbit is the carnival queen. Ooh. She's not doing much, is she? Well, that makes a change from all the jobs Miss Rabbit normally does. 
she's probably quite happy to put her feet up. <laughs> Here is Mr. Potato. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Mr. Potato has a big balloon tied to the back of his car. Wow! That must be the biggest balloon in the world! Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no! The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! <laughs> it's OK. I've caught it. Oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. <laughs> Rescue service! Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon! Help! Help! I'll be right there! Wait a moment! I can't go and rescue with all this on! Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go! <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being bossy! I can be bossy too! I should be the Queen because I am the best at waving! <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye. Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon. Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait! Wait! Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you! Hooray! Now I can get back to being the Carnival Queen. Oh, oh, I think we've got three Carnival Queens now. <laughs> this is the best carnival ever. Pepper loves carnivals. Everybody loves carnivals. <laughs> Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Dinner time, Goldie! Oh, Goldie isn't eating. She looks a bit sad. I think she is lonely. She hasn't got any fish friends. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Pepper. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one of fish, please. The fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No, they are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? 
We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, oh. what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. <gasps> Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> <laughs> hello, Miss Rabbit. That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, ho. It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. <laughs> Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger any time she wants. <laughs> Compost. Daddy Pig is making vegetable soup for lunch. Daddy, can I help? Thank you, Pepper. Can you clear away all these vegetable peelings? OK. <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, banana. That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Peppa. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Peppa and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We are here. Hooray! <laughs> got a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <sniffs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden eat vegetables? Oh, oh, oh. no, Peppa. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Peppa, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top and then out of the bottom comes lovely rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, no, Peppa. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. The worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa, can we find some more wriggly worms for your compost tape? Wow. 
What a good idea. Come on, George. Let's find some more wriggly ones. <laughs> <laughs> a wriggly worm. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. You're a wiggly worm. You're a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. You're a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Be a good wiggly worm and turn it all into compost. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> then I can use the compost to... I know, I know. You put a seed in the ground, cover it in compost and it grows into a tree. Oh, oh. yes, Pepper. And talking of trees, we'd better go and help Granny Pig. She's collecting fruit in the orchard. What's the orchard? It's where you find fruit trees. We've had this orchard since I was a little piggy. <laughs> Hello, Granny Pig. Candy Pig. Are you going to help me collect some apples? Yes, Granny. No, the apples are too high up. Don't worry, Pepper. Granny and Grandpa have a little trick to collect the apples. Everybody hold on to the tree. On the count of three, shake the tree as much as you can. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> it's raining apples! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Granny, can we have an apple, please? Of course, Peppa. Mmm, delicious. And can you guess what we do with the apple cores? Uh. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle! That's right, <laughs> the apple cores go into the compost for the worms. Clever George. <laughs> And clever wiggly worms too. <laughs> 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 <laughs>